on December 14th, there was supposed to be a Russian spacewalk to move a radiator unit from the Rosviet module to the Nauka laboratory module, but as the cosmonauts were suited up and entering the airlock, a significant leak was observed coming from their docked Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft. Uh, since NASA was already broadcasting live in anticipation of the Russian spacewalk, we got to see the leak in all of its gl glory. Otherwise, it would have been a footnote in a NASA blog, and there may not have been any video uh, released to the public. Uh, now, Roscosmos had a live stream going as well, but they declined to show video of what was happening up in space. This video is a 4K AI upscaled version that I rendered from the NASA footage. The particles spraying all over the place were determined to be coolant from Soyuz's external coolant loop. The spacecraft also has an internal coolant loop, but it's my understanding that the two loops pull from the same reservoir so they aren't isolated. The venting continued for more than four hours, likely completely draining Soyuz of all of its coolant. I looked for information on what type of coolant Soyuz uses, ammonia which would quickly evaporate in space, or something nastier that might stick to ISS surfaces and potentially cause uh, additional problems. Unfortunately, Roscosmos isn't an open book like NASA, and I was unable to find the information. It was emphasized during the event that at no point was the crew of ISS in any danger, although in the days following the leak, the temperature inside the Soyuz reached a toasty 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Subsequent inspection revealed a 0.8 millimeter hole in the external coolant line. The cause of this hole is presumed to be either a micrometeoroid or a tiny piece of space junk. It's unlikely that we'll ever know for sure. ISS gets pelted with micrometeoroids all the time, but to my knowledge, this is the first time in 24 years that an impact has caused a leak of this magnitude. Soyuz MS-22 launched on September 21st with ISS Expedition 67 crew members Sergei Prokopiev, Dmitry Patalin, and Frank Rubio. It was planned to return them to Earth this coming March, but now the fate of the vehicle is in question. Patching the hole doesn't seem likely, since the ISS might not be equipped with the tools and materials to do such a patch, and I seriously doubt that NASA would sign off on the crew readiness of a spacecraft that was patched in orbit, even if Roscosmos was okay with the risk. Flying the Soyuz with crew aboard and no coolant seems like a terrible idea, especially if the spacecraft was overheating while docked to the space station. Uh, they'd cook. It seems to me that the only safe way forward is to undock Soyuz MS-22 and deorbit it without any crew, then launch the Soyuz MS-23 vehicle to replace it, again with no crew. MS-23 could be launched as early as February. Another possibility would be to send up an unmanned crew dragon, but I don't know if one is available or ready. It's worth noting that a, this may be the first time in the history of the ISS that crew members might be stranded on the station with no viable escape vehicle to get them home, and B, there's no great rush in terms of time on orbit, though there might be once the additional risk of not having enough lifeboats is considered. A standard crew, rota crew rotation is six months. A few spacefarers have spent more than a year in space at one time, the MS-22 crew have been there for less than four months. Roscosmos had planned to make a decision regarding how to proceed by December 27th, but they deferred that until sometime in January. So stay tuned. <laughs>